Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Techbon Info and today we are going to do a different kind of video so in this video we will have a detailed review about Samsung Galaxy S10 series before we start make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with the latest technology reviews so let's start in order to expand the appeal and affordability of the Galaxy S10 series Samsung developed four versions the S10 and S10 Plus are the main variants and mirror to what we have seen in the past. The only differences between the two are the size, weight, screen size and battery capacity. Just like before, the S10 Plus also has an extra camera when compared to the S10. The new device this year is S10e, a slightly smaller and slightly more affordable model. It is rather compact compared to the S10 drops the curved glass front for flat glass and adjust battery size and memory. However, the S10e is no slouch. It has the same rear cameras, the same processor and same high-speed wireless capabilities as the larger two S10 variants. Then there is the S10 5G. This device is the largest of the bunch. It has a bigger screen of 6.7 inches than even the S10 Plus and packs a bigger battery of 4000 mAh. Talking about the screen size, the screen is the S10 series primary feature. Samsung developed a new panel called Dynamic OLED with a punch hole design for the user facing cameras. The company says it developed a technique for slicing through the display with a laser without damaging the pixel. Samsung called this the Infinity O display. The punch hole design lets Samsung push the screen as close to the edges as possible, resulting in a 93.1% screen to body ratio that simply dazzles. The S10e and S10 have a circular punch hole, while the S10 Plus has an oval one for the two front facing cameras. The oval design is only slightly more noticeable than the cutout on the others. The rest of the sensors such as proximity sensor which turns the display off when you hold the phone to your ear are buried behind the screen. Having a look at the security features of the phone, we see that the S10, S10 Plus and S10 5G have an ultrasonic fingerprint reader under the glass. Well, after the Apple strategy of removing the headphones jack, we were completely expecting similar technology from Samsung too. But headphones are still included. All three phones feature a volume toggle and a dedicated Bixby button on the left edge. The buttons are located a bit far up which makes them more difficult to find in a hurry. The buttons offer excellent response. The S10 and S10 Plus each have a power screen button on the right edge. This being said, let's talk about the camera. Nowadays, cameras are the one of the most important features everyone looks at while buying a phone. Samsung has finally adopted the triple rear camera configuration for the S10 and S10 Plus. Each has an ultra-wide, wide and telephoto lens on the rear that allows the user to select the best level of zoom for the shot they want. Users won't have to fuss with selecting the different lenses as they shoot pictures. Instead, they simply zoom in or zoom out as a normal and the S10 will seamlessly select the right lens for the job. The front camera for all three phones is a dual pixel 10 megapixel autofocus shooter at f1.9. Now we will talk about the price of the phone. Pricing for the Galaxy S10e starts at $749. Samsung is pitching the S10e is a more affordable entry point to the Galaxy S series but don't call it a budget phone. Pricing for the S10 starts at $899 and pricing for the S10 Plus starts at $999. And right now, we also don't have any details on the S10 5G's price tag just yet. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching our technology related videos. Make sure you like the video and do subscribe to our channel. We'll see you in another video.